Hey, JB here with another video for you. Uh, back in the brick kiln again today. Um, just finished working on these drawers here. Um, they're still not where they're going to be because I'm waiting on those combo units to set them permanently. But I did get this piece of uh, plywood or OSB, whatever it is, and I got it cut so it fits over here nicely so I can still get this drawer all the way out. And I put a, a couple screws on. I think I put three screws in it just to hold it in place so it doesn't slide around. And I think this is going to work pretty well. I took the uh, the screws out so the drawers go all the way back. And there was a 2x4 on the back side of it that was screwed into the bottom of the board. And I took that out to just... I don't think I really needed it. Though it could have added a little extra support I suppose but anyway I took that out and then I cut the plywood so I can fit three sets of drawers on there and yeah I think it's gonna work pretty well if I'm worried about these sides um, sagging some I'll probably come back and take some of those pieces of plywood that I cut off and stick them under here as kind of support and uh, since this plastic on the bottom here goes all the way across, I could also put a screw with a washer or something through here. Because, I mean, I could take these drawers out and I got open access all the way to the bottom. So I can put a couple screws with washers just to hold it to the plywood so I don't have to worry about it leaning to the side. Which I think when it's weighted down, that won't be an issue anyway because it... Uh, most of the weight will be on the left hand side or the right hand side as it is. So there's only two drawers worth of pieces that'll be overhanging. So I don't think that'll be an issue going forward. But yeah, I, I like the look of it and I'm excited to get those other drawer units in here so I can start setting them up. Uh, something else that I like with these, with this setup is I don't think I'll have to worry so much with weight on this one since, I mean, with these drawer units, there's front and back. So there's more weight than there's going to be with these units because it's just going to be the front side. So I think that'll make a difference there. Um, something I would like to do, but I don't see any way of doing it at this point, would be to lift up these drawer units and put plywood underneath of them as well just to spread out that force some, but uh, and there's always next time I rearrange. But something I would like to get set up is a cart. It'd have to be a fairly narrow cart though, because I don't have a whole lot of room. Like right across here, it's only about maybe 18 inches. So not a huge space there, but we'll see. That all remains to be seen in the future. So uh, I started picking orders earlier, and I've got several of them, several of them started here, and in, I've moved some of the lots to these trays just to get them out of the way. But uh, then I stopped for dinner and got distracted with this, so I need to go back and finish picking these orders uh, for tonight. And here's a good one right here. Dark purple helmet. This one uh, I just listed, I think, Friday or Saturday, and it's Monday, and it's sold. And uh, for $22. So safe to say this piece has jumped in value over the last like, month since that uh, collectible minifigure series came out with a purple torso. Purple classic space. Orders are finished. Um got this one order that's just those two little bushing pieces there this is the one with the uh, dark purple helmet we also got the arms and i don't know why they got the yellow hands probably not for that figure <laughs> a bunch of these grilled pieces and some new gray and black pieces um, this order they got a bunch of my vintage star wars figures from the 90s eras era sets and some uh, minifigure parts and stuff there uh, with a cape down in that card um, lots of minifigure pieces in this one 
including a 20 some dollar uh, skirt from a Asajj Ventress. And also I think those legs were about four bucks and several heads and things. This order, I am pretty sure they are completing some of those 90s and early 2000s Star Wars sets. Uh, judging from these plates here, this blue piece, and that, I'd say they're completing the the uh, B-Wing with the control center. And some good, good parts there. And then this one's just a lot of gray and black pieces. So I'm going to get these packed up and shipped All out. Right. Well, I'm finishing up for tonight, just about ready to pack up. Um, these drawers here pretty much are exclusively from parts that I had to uh, consolidate from those classic sets. I finally just, uh, or reassign to use just brick in the bucket terminology. Um, when I've uploaded the, those classic sets the last time, which was over a year ago, they were mostly in this section here, in the 300s and uh, 400s. And almost all of these drawers were still very full, like this one. And this is... I, th I don't think I reassigned that drawer. I easily could have. But um, some of these drawers are just so full from parts that never sold from that first time. And now I have taken up more drawers with those parts that aren't selling. <laughs> so, uh... I think if I see those sets on sale again, I'm not going to buy them. And I probably won't buy any of the other classic sets that are on sale in the near future, at least. I mean, some of the parts do sell, but a lot of them just sit. So I uh, don't think I'm going to get more of those unless they're a really, really good deal. Because uh, I don't really want more of these lavender and blues that don't sell to sit there and just take up drawers. Oh, and uh, there's also these large drawers here. I don't think I've sold a single one of these pieces in over a year. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Thanks for watching, and until next time, y'all have a good one.